Welcome back to Summer Sea. There are a few notable things to do today. Uh, we have to stop by the Mo Island to uh, hand over Lorenzo's body to his brother, I think. And then we have to drop by Port Canadian to talk to the philanthropist. And also we have to remember to change to the, the other ship. So we can get the Clattery Heart in Port Carnelian too. We have to drop by the Outcats to talk to Isery, because Isery is going to replace Lorenzo as the guide. And there are several other things to do as well, but we are going to wing it, like how we did it last time. But our first stop should be the Mo Island. And since we have switched back to the Merchant Cruiser and we have the whole space, I want to do one more thing. Let's talk to the Scarred Sister. It has been a while since, Hun since Hunter's Keep. So let's see what she has to say. Invite her to dine with you and ask her to talk about what happened at Hunter's Keep. An abandoned meal. You broach the subject halfway through the cook starter. Without word, she pushes a plate away, stands and leaves. Okay, still the same. Although I feel like something might change. Hmm. Let's keep trying. It must be a chance thing. It must be. Oh, I have a lot of money for supplies anyway. That's fine, that's fine. Hmm. What about the adoption? Invite her to dine with you and talk about storms. Morose and uncommunicative, she picks at her food. I used to sit in my turret and listen to the wind, she tells you. I wonder why we had wind down here, you know. There's an account in a journal. She bends her head and stabs at her plate. Perhaps she's thinking of a book burnt with Hunter's Keep. That's the same one too. Uh-huh. Lady, you're eating all of my food. <laughs> there. A confidence. I wanted us to move to Hunter's Keep, she confesses, because I had a romantic notion about storms. The funny thing is, the notion turned out right. You know that Zaylers talk about the god in the roof? He's real. I used to hear him in my dreams. She leans closer. Behind the bandages, in the lamplight, her eyes are dark as ink. He's terribly cross. Okay. Okay, my point being, there is one place that you can drop her that you can get uh, a legacy item, which is... Do I not have it? I might not have it. Interesting. Okay, let's try to do it then. Uh, I think we might only be able to trigger if we bring her there. Which is, we have to bring her to Naples on the surface. So, I think we need a lot more fuel. Supplies are cheap on the surface, but we need a lot, a lot of fuel. So, let me prepare for that. So, slight change of plans in our voyage. We are going to the Cuban Canal first. 
because we're all filled up and we are going to the surface with all of the fuel that we have and then we'll see what happens hopefully she does the thing but maybe she won't but let's go Cumian Canal. Okay, let's get yeah, port report. Ah, uh, no, this is port report. Hey, fulfill your Emirati commission. Ooh, roll out and meet a contact at the foot of the Albertine Gates. The password is the Empire Remembers. Ah, I forgot that I had to come here for uh strategic information. Yeah. <laughs> In the shadow of the gates, a deeply tanned vagabond waits in a jolly boat. His clothes are ragged and his face is filthy, but his voice and manners are educated. His message is a string of numbers and the names of seven towns in Essex, Shropshire, Cumbria. He insists that you repeat it back to him three times. He will not allow you to commit it to paper. Okay. okay let's travel to the surface then. Two supplies and... Uh, 22 fuel. Yep. Let's go. Let's go to the surface. Let's fill my mirror catch box. Open it wide. Let it bask in the light. Until its baffles and convolutions brim with sun. Snap it shut. The box will remain filled with light until it's open. Even underground, they do it with mirrors. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to Naples. Yep. Farms and fantasies. Oh, I lost one crew. It's fine. Is it in Naples? Is it? I'm not sure. Hey, here! Goodbye to the Scarred Sister. She taps you timidly on the elbow. You've been good to me, but here on the surface, I want to see my homeland. Will you pay my fare? Hundred echoes, sure. A walk to the station. You see her to the train. The boson carries her back. The street is busy with travelers, families, beggars. The dust of the road rises up to make you cough, all three of you. Phoebe has been very quiet, but now, suddenly, she starts to speak. We have family in Greece, or had, long ago. My grandmothers kept the mystery and watched the judgments up in the mountains above the Corinth. When the bazaar came to earth, they saw an opportunity, and so they came below. She shakes her head. It didn't end well for us. I wish I could have told you more. Only there's so little left of me now. I must have my last few secrets or I'll just blow away on the wind. But I want you to have this. This is a slim volume entitled A Dream of Red. A romantic novella? She kisses your cheek, shakes your hand, and she's gone. Yeah, I now have this. A Dream of Red. I don't have it before? I thought I've done that. Uh, I've sent her here before. Or maybe that was a long, long time ago. Hmm. But yes, this is how you get a dream of red, which is a legacy item. And... This is a chapter of the Crimson Book, the notorious compilation of love stories long sought by the masters of the bazaar. Ooh. Okay. Continue. I have lost the Scott sister. Let's... Let me see. Let's buy a train ticket to Vienna. Why not? I doubt we can sell coffee anymore. Let's go check one last time. Yeah, the first sales carcass. 
Finally meet your friend from the bureau, yep. Nine courses and rare liquor. Mm -hmm. So, nothing really... Oh, my recent news! You took my recent news, really? I needed it. Fine. Fine. Recent news is so valuable in Sunless Sea. Un quite unexpectedly, actually. Uh, we have few... Let's try, let's try to carry cargoes around the Mediterranean. We were fortunate. Grain and olive oil. An interlude of noisy gulls and baking afternoons. It's restful after the terrors of the sea below, but your crew are troubled by the strangeness of it. Some go missing. Perhaps they slip ashore. Perhaps the sun withers them all together. Ah, I lost one crew. Oh well. Okay, let's... Hmm... Let's just go back, I guess. Oh yeah, supplies here are very cheap. Let's buy a ton. Let's buy a ton. Okay, 30 supplies. Should be enough. So let's return to Avernus and then return below. Let's go. Ah, back to night mode, which is Sunless Sea. Our next destination should be the Mo Island. Should we try and get uh, something awaits you? We should. We should not return to Fallen London yet because we do have something from the Blind Bruiser. Uh, we need to drop by Khan's Heart. Maybe you should do this first. You should go to the Mo Island, then straight to Khan's Heart, and then we'll make our way back. Maybe you should go to Vanderbite. Because I think uh, the Rack wants you to go to Vanderbite for something which I forgot in the last voyage. We will go... We will make a short voyage this time. We'll go this way, to Khan's Heart. Uh, maybe even drop by... Uh, Mangrove College. Let me go up to... We need to drop by Sea of Lilies, Wisdom. And then we'll go to Vanderbite. And then we'll go back to Fall London. Because I need uh, recent news. Uh, to get into Adam's Way. We need recent news for so many things. Let me check if I have enough fuel to make this whole voyage. We might need to drop by the Iron Republic. 17 fuel, yeah, we need to drop by the Iron Republic. Okay, let me revise. We go to the Iron Republic, Port Canadian to get the heart, the, uh, the Clattery's heart. And then we go to Dumbo Island. Okay, okay. New plan. Let's go. in the Iron Republic. There's parting with the crotchety tobacconist. He breathes in deeply and nods his approval. If I could wrap this place into a cigar, I'd be rich. The crotchety tobacconist shakes your hand vigorously. I owe you my gratitude. This will be a fine place for us to produce more of those underwater beauties. By this time next year, should have the entire Z burning. He extracts a cigar from his seemingly bottomless case, but pauses before lighting it. Thank you again, my friend. 
Okay. Wait, you're a Narcus? Okay. Let's get a port report. Fact and fiction. Okay, gain two pages. Okay, let's go to the shops and buy fuel. <laughs> in Port Canadian. Let's go for the ambition thing first. Yeah, Recruit her to the seven. Will she assume her husband's role as the Cabal's financier? Perhaps a donation to her charitable work would steer the conversation where you need to go. Yep, a donation of Prava, Linen and Zoop will help your case. She is preparing a dispatch of comforts for the patient inmates of the Animerson's Hospital in Adam's Way. The poor things, their souls baking, their bodies fevered. Indeed, the world is unjust. If only it were possible to do more, you intimate. Charity, after all, can only mitigate the symptoms of tragedy, not prevent it. The philanthropist peers at you. What are you getting at? You allow her to coax it from you with the application of Sherry. Though she knew the rough shape of her husband's former endeavor, this is the first time she has heard the full story. Now it's all she has left to him. She's hungry for it. She leans forwards, cheeks flush, eyes dark. You debate and quarrel and conspire all through the night. As the servants are beginning to rouse, she shakes your hand with a fierce grip. I'll join your seven. You've my support and more practically my pockets. The sherry is gone, alas, but she raises an empty glass. Here's to bloodying death's nose. We have found the financier. Yep, yep, yep. Good, nice. Okay, let's enjoy a sherry. Ah, delicious. Okay, let's. Uh, the next thing we should do is to drop by Port Canadian first. And then. How's my hold? I still have five more things, huh? Hmm. Oh right. Um. Yeah, there's a reason why I want to come to Port Canadian first. Yeah, fulfill your spies' needs. Yes, they want her romantic literature. Just one. Miss Jenny's diary. The tiger is pleased. He asks you to read from one of the more explicit volumes. An hour later, he rumbles, one more chapter, for the third time, lazily flexing his claws. Okay. What else do you need now? Ooh, a diplomatic ri a high risk. Why is this high risk? My veils are 103. Oh, I guess because the more you do it, the higher the risk. Okay, maybe, maybe. I get it, I get it. It is time. Retrieve the Clattery Heart. It is drawn up at the dock, waiting for its owner. No one dares touch it, but the ships that berth near her travel faster and less steadily thereafter. Let's do this one. Keep the Clattery Air and sail her ship together. Why shouldn't she serve you aboard the Clattery Heart? She's already given up enough. The loss of the legend of Mr. Iron. You suggest this needs solution to her. She doesn't need to renounce anything else. She has given up believing in her father and that's enough. Perhaps, she says, I could regard him more as an honorary family member. Do you think I could call him Uncle Iron? But she agrees to let you keep the Clattery Heart and to stay on on your crew. Yes, the matter is concluded. 
Okay, I no longer have the Merchant Cruiser. That's fine. I want the Clattery Heart. Yes, you have a new ship. Woohoo! Okay, let's see. What else can we do here? Uh... Okay, I feel like my spice thing, which requires a diplomatic agent, is too high a risk. I don't like seeing red. So let's seek another opportunity since we are not using something that awaits you here. Okay. Let's see what you need now. Please, not the same one. Oh, it is still a high risk one. Money buys secrets. Oh, 300 echoes, really? But what about this? An elucidation. An asset, one forthcoming, has grown reticent. Tale of Terror. A cautionary tale. You tell the asset who perspires appropriately of the bloody rites conducted in Storm's temple at Chalonate. Ah, so this is the one where you threaten them. Okay. You gain one... Okay, network. Good, good, good. Ah, I lost seven tail terror though. Okay, I think that's all we could do here for now. Okay, let me see where else to go. Okay, we're going back to Tamo Island. I don't think we need to do anything on this side. It's a little bit risky right now as well because uh, I have the Clattery Heart which does not have a... Let me check. It looks weird. Yeah, it doesn't have a forward weapon, which is my Memento Mori. So we are going to be a little bit more cautious as we go. Unnamed ship. Oh, I can rename my ship. Oh, we're just gonna call it... Hmm. Beloved. There. Or... The Clattery Air. Okay. So we are going to go to the Mole Island. We don't need to drop by Phantom King's Hold. Yeah, we're going to go straight to the Mole Island and then... Somewhere here. We need to go to Khan's Heart. Yeah. So let's go. Oh, it moves weird. Oh, it pulsates. It's weird. But it seems quite fast. It's weird. It's still weird. in the Mole Island. It's been a while too. Here deliver Lorenzo's remains to the Factor. The affable Factor receives his brother's coffin solemnly. You counsel against looking within. A moth, you say. Can't say as it was how he'd have wanted to go, but I don't think he'd ever intended to go at all. The affable Factor sighs and lights his pipe. The fungal smoke is all too familiar. Knew he'd meet a bad end with that lot. Too much stirring up trouble. Not enough enjoying what they got. Seven's an unlucky number if you ask me. He rests a hand on the coffin. Thank you anyway. I'll do something appropriate with him. Okay. Gain a secret. Yep. Handed him Lorenzo's husk. What else can I do here? Yeah, it's more or less the same. Let me see. Do we want to gather supplies? Sure. Why not? You are unlucky. Ah, uh, gain 5 terror. A fuck of dread. The spores lie thick on your face. They coat your tongues. One crewman begins to whimper. Oh Christ, he says. They've reached my heart. I think I'll be harvest yet. Harvest yet. You have to drag him back to the ship before he's calm again. Yeah. Let's try again. You're fortunate. 
Only one supplies. So why? Oh well. That was not very worth it. Okay. Before we leave, since it is such a short stop, let's talk to some of our officers. Okay. Uh, we sent him to Khan's hut uh, last time. So he has another request. After his visit to the Khanate, he is more fixated, less congenial. He corners you below decks, his eyes fervent between his wrappings. Is that all? I need a capstone for the feast, Captain. Something unforgettable. I have a vision. No, two. One demands the call of a lawn fluke. The other requires a certain birth of the elder continent, a cockatoo, given to funeral poetry. I have heard a certain southern showman owns such a creature. He waves a casual hand. Either would do. Do not trouble yourself with both. Oh, the colossal fluke or, uh, or the Ellie Jayek cockatoo. I do have the cockatoo, although... Hmm... I guess I can find it again somewhere. Sure, have it. Have the cockatoo. Give him an elegiac cockatoo. When the bird sees the galley, its poetry becomes doubly heartfelt. I'm sorry. The final piece. Ah, he's magnificent. Come, my solemn feathered compatriot. Let us work wonders. We will be the best of friends for a little while. They vanish inside. The bird's poetry, even muted, does little to improve the mood of the crew. Several days later, the Poisonier throws a sack of feathers overboard. Yet somehow gloomy couplets continue to drift from the galley's porthole. Ah, Captain, all is ready. Although we will need wine. Lots of wine. Procure five crates of mushroom wine and make your way to the Fathom King's hole. Ooh, so soon. Okay, okay. We can do that. We can do that, definitely. Uh, let's end it there for now. And we shall stop by all these islands as we make our way to Khan's heart. in the Phantom King's hole. I was on my way to Khan's heart until I realized since I'm so near the Phantom King's hole anyway, maybe I should make my way here and finish the officer's quest. So... Let's get the port report first and then let's descend to an audience with the Phantom King. Yep. Oh, I forgot I do need wine. Okay, has watch a visitor. Crocodile moves around a corpse offering on a beer clockwise. He indicates his wounds to the Phantom King. Why is he here? Another right. 
Crocodile is describing the wounds on the body, but the wounds he describes don't match the wounds you see. This is another visage ritual. He sounds like he's boasting, but a single tear trickles down from beneath his mask. At last, the king nods. The offering is acceptable, he says. Torn armoured guards carry the beer through a dark slit be behind his throne. The king begins offhandedly to outline the cartography of the deep undersea and the patrol routes of monsters. He notices your presence and snaps his fingers. The guard ushers you out, but not before you've heard a valuable deep gossip and you understand a little more visage lore. Crocodile has given this body to another kind of flood. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I guess we leave then. Hot. Okay, let's here collect the cherry man's cargo. Yep. Okay, and then let's get a port report. Yep, precious scraps. And then we'll wander Khan's hut. A shrine of the deep blue heaven, above the roof of the neat is black, impassive, prickled with false stars. But the Kaganians still remember the sky. We pass an open walled shrine with a dome roof. The interior is painted a deep pure indigo. Citizens kneel below it while a blue priest speaks. As he reaches the climax of his prayer, a rosy golden light swells inside the dome. The worshippers murmur in complacent delight. The dome is now a perfect, heartbreaking, morning sky blue, a colour you haven't seen for how long? Filament bulbs, your bosom whispers importantly beside you. Give me honest gaslight any day. Oh, But it's heartbreakingly beautiful, bosom. I guess that's all for now. What does my spy need? A diplomatic agent, Chansey. Sure. I failed. Oops. Again, two menaces. Uh, maybe I should have bought some coffee to appease. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, what else do you need now? Oh, another diplomatic agent. Next time then, next time, we shall go to the Mangrove College next. Mangrove College. Uh, let's pick up a passenger, sure. Shady sword. And my only purpose here is to go into the wisp waves. That's why I bought um that's why I bought some foxfire candles here. So let's go. Yep. Darkness between the trees. Come closer, the wind says in the branches. Here is peace. He okay, lost another candle. An abandoned fort. Ah. A half-fallen fortress of basalt blocks on a low hill. The creatures of the swamp have stayed clear. There is insufficient mud, perhaps. A respite. A mount you mount a guard on the walls. Build a fire of stinking peat. Up and your boots to evict sulky tadpoles. 
The swamps around you resound with sobbing whoops and screeching creaks, but nothing shows itself. Time passes. Seeding trees, branches trash, leaves a foam. The trees here writhe with fear. Onwards, on through the lace shade of the groaning oaks. At the back, a sailor whimpers in fear. They are dying, someone says. They are dying. Then you're true. The Pillar of Riddles, a sandstone pillar engraved in a spiral atop it set an animal of some kind. As we approach, the skull and the spiral. No, not a pale flesh beast, but a skull, grinning ruefully atop the pillar as if apologizing for the quality of its welcome. We spent the afternoon deciphering the inscription, which had elements in common with Aramaic. I say deciphering. It was a loop set of riddles which left us with as many questions as answers. It cryptically described the exploits of the woman whose skull remained atop the pillar and her progress into the east. Far past Iron. Mmm. Got a lamentable relic and a searing enigma. Nice. Okay, and then I only have one more candle left. Yeah. I think that's it for my adventure here. But, oh wait, uh, we can gather, get a port report. Yep, got one supply. Oh yeah, we need uh, something that awaits you to get more supplies. Okay. We shall go to Wisdom next. Wisdom. We are here only for one thing. Yes, unmask the governor and present the summons to hide away. The governor is a ferocious, feared man. Do you dare honor the sprightly visionary's request? When you pass through the last gate of brass and iron, the governor does not welcome you. He only sits unmoving. You approach, he raises a hand. You leap to his desk and rip off his mask. Hello, you've seen his scarred face somewhere. Holytream has a high bounty on his head. After he captured their vessels a long time ago and led them to their doom in some forgotten escapade, the governor roars and pulls a pistol from beneath his desk. Before he can fire, you relate the sprightly visionary's orders. He stands, knocking over his high back chair. I will begin gathering my men at once, he bows deeply. Delivered. Nice. A little bit scary, but I did it. Uh, let's see. Let's get a port report, and then that's all we could do here. Yep. Okay, where shall we go next? Um, let's just go back. I know Mount Palmerston is just there. But I don't really want to go. Let's, get it. let's go to Gator's Moon. Gaither's Morn. Let's drop off the Shady Sword. Yep. 
120 echoes. Uh, let's get an intelligence. And then let's explore the moon. Oh, it's just a riddles one. Hmm. Let's let's do Let's try this one. A tough challenge. Attempt one of the great riddles of Iron. Who is this? In line colored furs at the fire light's edge. I carry one of the great riddles of iron, she intones. Her eyes glisten. One thousand echoes against a jewel from the pillared sea. 33% chance. A thousand echo. Maybe you should try the hundred echo one. Uh, we've done this before. Let's try. Let's try. Wait, I succeeded? Ah, the stranger, the irony, breathes. Yes, the key fits the lock. Take this. Jewel? It's a silver hand, beauty beautifully shaped to every crease of skin. The rest is lost, the riddle wielder says. Now you have this. It's lost too. Captivating treasure. <gasps> nice, very nice. So worth it. Okay, I think that's all we could do here. So, but this reminds me that I have something to do for the Muslims Bodies. The Parrot Poet. Yes, indeed. So we have to go out into sea. Let's make a little bit of space, maybe like here-ish. Let's go that way. We have to capture the pirate poet. Nothing against her, but wait, is that her ship? I don't think that's her ship, but let's try. Great, one more. I don't think that's her ship. Yeah, it's just a normal ship. Alright. Okay, I think this is a big enough space. Battle, and then I use this. Summon the Tarot Power. It's a hand-carved Ushapti. It must be in open waters in order to use this. Yep. Did I use it? Father out into Z. This is not far enough. I'm like in the middle of nowhere. Maybe I should come here. Oh shit. Let's go to Vendabite then. Just right down here. The clutter hut seems to go a lot faster than expected. At least it does feel like it, and a lot more fuel efficient as well. But, yeah, Memento Mori! I miss my Memento Mori. Okay, we're back in Vendabite. Here, lure the ancient captains to rack. Ancient captains stand idly in the dock. Though their bandages have yellowed, their uniforms are well washed. Spin them a story of a last hurrah. You approach three of the captains. They smell like mouldering cakes. What sights they must have seen, you say, in their years on the Z. Bones pop and crack as they exchange glances. They croak a few words on bees they escaped, romances they had, pots where they made a difference. And what, you ask, of those bees that escaped, those romances that they discarded, the pots where they did more harm than good? Of course, they reply. They set things right if they had a last adventure. As it happens, you have the charts to a place in need. Okay. Seven rack ship sent to rack. Okay. Let's uh, gather gossip. I'm sorry, curator. I have one more thing to collect for you, and then I'll come back. 
I do need some stuff. I need some supplies. Oh, expensive. I'll buy two. The Arcade of Size. Hollow Temple. I can sell the Monstrous Almanac here. Since I crafted them. There's just, there's just been taking up space in my hole. I don't think I need pages. Do I? I, I guess I need pages. Yeah. Maybe I should equip my pages. Uh, where is it? There. Fit to slot. Yes. Yeah, that will up my pages. I have a lot of hearts. Yeah, I don't need that. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to Fall London, I guess. But let's see if we can summon her here. Let's try. Need somewhere that is a bit more open sea. I cannot. It's pretty open here. Why not? Okay, yeah, we'll try here. Okay, try here right now. Puddle out at sea. Okay, okay. Fine. Okay, there is like land nearby there. What about here? I can't be any more further out at Z. Where? Okay, I guess she needs to be like somewhere like that's really really empty. Fine, I'll go back to London then. Collect messages from the harbor master. Yep. A blind bruiser. Uh huh. Here, hand over the cargo. Oh, very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let me see. An offer for your sunlight. Yes. Sell the bruiser your boxes. 400 echoes. Nice, nice, nice. And as much as I like the Clattery Heart, I'm going to take back out my Maynard class frigate. Yep, I'm gonna take back out the frigate. Because I do miss my Memento Mori. F one should be this one. Okay. Looks about right. Looks about right. 